Hey guys, welcome to the Gods Unchained Beta with the Professor. All right, it's time for our Monday Mythic Meta for the Ranked Weekend event that ran on December 17, 18, and 19th. Let's take a look at our results. Here's the list of our top players. We have one player with a perfect run, 25 wins out of 25 games. Congratulations, excellent work there. We have two other players with 24 wins, very close to a perfect run. We have two other players with 23 wins, very good job. And then we have several players tied with 22 wins. But as we know, only five places remain for the top 10. We have a very close tie for 9th, 10th, and 11th position. So we'll see when the official results are published on who gets the last spots in the top 10. Let's go into more details. In our top 20, we can see that five players played Death. We have four players each that played Magic, War, and Nature. Three players played Light. And there were no players in the top 20 that played Deception. For our top 10, Light took 1st and ninth place. Death took 2nd and 3rd. Magic took 4th place. Nature took 5th, 8th, and 10th place. War took 6th and 7th place. Our best deck was Light with 25 wins. The best Death deck managed 24 wins. The best Magic and Nature deck managed 23 wins. The best war deck managed 22 wins. And although Deception didn't make it into the top 20, the best Deception deck managed 21 wins. For our deck types, we can see that 13 players in the top 20 played an aggro deck, and 7 players played control. Let's look at our top decks in more detail. Our best light deck was a Zoo aggro light deck with a Summon Acolyte God Power. This deck won 25 wins out of 25 games. You can see the low curve of light here with four relics at one mana, two Cudgel of Atonement, two Ritual Rods. We have some strong two mana cards with Pyramid Warden and Skeleton Heavy. Interesting point here, most light decks run the Olympian Guard at two mana. This deck runs the Skeleton Heavy instead. We have strong three mana cards here with the Bright Mage, Lights Levy, and Radiant Dawn. Follow that up with two Highborn Knights, Master of Indulgences, and Cern the Moderator. And then this tops out with Canonize and Asterius. Another notable addition is two copies of the Golden Winged Sphinx. This one has Frontline and Aurora effect that gives your god protected. It also has an Afterlife effect when it goes to the Void that it gives creatures on your side of the board protected until the end of the turn. Our best death deck managed 24 wins. This one's a controlled death deck with the Blood Ritual God Power. We have a removal and stall cards with Blight Bomb, Siren of the Grave, Sulfuric Rain, Eva, Baroness of the Dead. You have some mass removals with Neferu, Apocalypse Now, End Times, and you have your end game win conditions and value cards with Jason Demogorgon, Polyhymnia, and Hippocrius Monster. Our best magic deck managed 23 wins. This one's an aggro magic deck with the Mage Bolt God Power. You have your standard low curve with Assistant Alchemist, removal spells in the form of Form of Power, Illuminate, Star Shard Bolt, Tracking Bolt. You have strong cards in Demetrios, Palace's Wand, Vortimer the Volatile. You have some key cards with All Seeing Spire, Miraculous Familiar, Scepter of Artistry, and Monolith of Storms. And then you have your top end burn with Worm Breath and Epiphany. Our best nature deck managed 23 wins. This one's a big beast aggro deck with the Salinas Mark God Power. Although this deck looks to have a slightly low curve, it actually probably plays out like a mid-range deck. We can see that it only has three one drops. You have one Chiron and two Marshwalkers. Follow that up with only eight two mana cards. Canopy Barrage for removal, Fey Fame Blade. And then you have two other creatures with Finian Fruit Bear and Underbrush War. Notably missing is Black Jaguars and Pyramid Wardens. You start getting to the big beasts around three mana. You have your Celestial Stag, Rabbit Bear, followed by Overgrown Rhino, Avatar of Nature, Brazen Moose, Giant Pangolin. You have four relics in total, two Feifane Blades, and two Jaguar Staff. You have your top end of Giant Pangolin and the Hunt. One last thing to note is there is one healing card here at two mana, Compost Charm. This card heals your god for 10. And if you have eight cards in your void, it adds a random nature card to your hand. Our best war deck managed 22 wins. This one's a control war deck with Valka's Presence God Power. You're looking to control and stall early on. 
You have Leviathan Hunter for a relic, Vanguard Axel for removal, Pyramid Warden for stalling. You have some strong war cards with Master Tactician, Tavern Brawler, Audi, Valka's Herald, Archangel Bruiser, Grand Hall, and Magic Missile Launcher. You have your removals with Carnage Sweep, Orcish Elite, Herdicus, and Soul Survivor. Soul Survivor gives a creature on your board plus 5 strength. It then does the total strength damage to all other creatures on the board for an effective removal. And then you have your top end of Hector with Demogorgon. Our best deception deck managed 21 wins. This one's a deception aggro deck with Orpheus Distraction. This one actually runs a guild theme. You have guild cards with Orpheo, Patient Pickpocket, the Switch Duelist, Armor Lurker, Lady Marcella, Vault Vagabond, Iron Tooth Goblin, Diligent Architect, Frumentelli Instigator, and the Guild Enforcer. There are two copies of Rapture Dance at the top end. And you have the Hollow, a two mana legendary, a 2 4 backline ward structure. Anytime a friendly creature loses order, it adds a random guild card to your hand. It also has the ability to give one of your friendly creatures order. So this card could generate immense value for your deck. Taking a look at our weekend ranked snapshot at the mythic level, Light had the highest win rate of 52% and a decent representation at 10%. Light is positive across the board except versus War. War had the second highest win rate at 51%. A very sizable representation at 24%, positive across the board versus all the gods. Followed by Death with a 51% win rate and also a respectable 13% representation. Death is positive versus Magic, Nature, and Deception. You have two other gods with decent win rates with Magic and Nature, close to 50% win rate. Both also has a decent representation of 12% and a 31% representation for Nature. At the bottom, we have Deception with the lowest win rate at 45% and the lowest popularity at 7%. Deception struggles across the board against all the other gods and really struggles versus War and Magic. Updating our top 10 scoreboard from last week. We have last week's result pushing Roy D. Walker up three places now to number 12. Torbjorn Hansen, TBH, jumping up five spaces now to number 19. And we have a new entry at number 30, Andre P78. All right, here's a list of our top players again. Congratulations on a great performance. Good luck on your packs when you receive them later this week.